Welcome back to today's episode of The Daily Calm with Pastor Tom. I'm doing something a little different today. I'm dressed in my my black robe here to have an object lesson to get us thinking about judges and judging. In fact, uh, fun fact, my name, Tom Richter, Richter is the German word that means judge. So, fun fact, daily calm and daily German lesson, I guess. Our scripture is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. God made him, meaning Jesus, God made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf that we might become the righteousness of God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. All these words, sin, righteousness, what does this have to do with judgment and and judging? Well, I want to illustrate with a legendary story about a New York City mayor, Mayor LaGuardia. Uh, Mayor LaGuardia, for whom the airport is named, was the mayor of New York during the Great Depression. And he wanted to keep his finger on the pulse of how the common New Yorker was doing. How, how is this affecting the everyday New Yorker? And so he sat in as a night court judge. He himself would put on his judge's robe and he would sit behind the bench there at night court, kind of like undercover boss. People didn't necessarily know it was the mayor. Well, the legend goes that a man was brought into that uh, courtroom who was being tried with the, uh, the, 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 the theft of, uh, I mean, the, the crime of stealing bread. Apparently he stole some bread. He makes his case, you know, he only stole the bread because things were so bad that he stole the bread to feed his family. LaGuardia hears the facts of the case. There's no denying the man's guilt. He stole the bread. So the legend has it that LaGuardia pronounces the sentence, uh, pronounces the verdict guilty, and then pronounces the sentence. The sentence is, uh, it's a fine of $20. To which the poor guy risks being out of order, but can't help it. He has to say this. He says, Your Honor, it, when he hears the sentence that he's guilty and he owes $20, he says what all of us would have said, Your Honor, if I had $20 to pay this fine, if I had the $20, I would have spent it to buy bread, right? The legend has it that LaGuardia stands up takes off his judge's robe, walks around, looks at the man without saying a word, takes out his own billfold, pulls out two $10 bills, pays the bailiff, and says to the man, it seems your fine has been paid by another. You, sir, are free to go. Now, whether or not that story is true or the stuff of legends, it illustrates a great point about 2 Corinthians 5th chapter. In a way, isn't that the story of every blood-bought Christian? That we were guilty of sin, and yet the one who was not guilty of that sin came and paid our sin debt on our behalf and for our salvation. The famous theologian Karl Barth said it this way, He was the judge who was judged in our place. I want that to bring you some daily calm today. We have a judge who was judged in our place. God made Jesus the rightful judge, the the, the king over everything. God made Jesus to be sin. He paid the price, not with $20, but with his own precious blood, that he could be the judge who was judged in our place. And in this way, God can call uh, guilty sinners. God can reckon them as righteous in his sight. I hope it brings you daily calm today to know that you have a judge who was judged in your place and for your salvation.